thankfully, it has happened. A full moon, the end of March, 80 degree weather. It is time, my friends. It is time for the big girls to come out. And your boy is ready. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Tight lines, homies. Not quite yet, man. No, what about not, you guys? Not quite yet. <laughs> I think it's coming pretty soon, man. Yeah, That's what I'm hoping for, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I know some of you guys don't believe in swim baits, but this is a perfect example why you need to have at least a couple in your arsenal, at least doing bed fishing. So I got two good sized bass on bed. One's probably three and a half, one maybe four, maybe five, nothing insanely big, but they have bluegill surrounding their beds. I threw out a uh, different type of bait. They didn't even stutter. They didn't care about it because it wasn't big enough and it didn't match what they're trying to keep off. So I got this guy tied up. I think it will do the trick. Give me a couple minutes and let's see if we can catch one on because they seem pretty riled up right now. So let's give it a shot. Back in action. Let's see if he backs it. He's literally right on top of it right now. That's gotta be a bit over there too. Come on. Come on, big girl. Yeah, this fish doesn't like this bait here. I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer. <laughs> Finally got him. Let's see where the big female is at. <clears throat> hand to hand combat. Well, this is a decent little one, guys, but I want the big female. Hopefully, she'll come up in a couple of seconds. All right, guys, we got the male off. Now. now I want to try to come back and get the big female. And there she is. That's the fish I want. Is that big female? Guys, y'all gonna laugh at me, man. I came back to the wrong bed. Bruh. That's another bed. I was like, why is there so many fish in this bed? That's the wrong bed. What an idiot. Hey. Jer, it's a big girl over here. You can barely see her, but she's big. You see her? Right there? Right there. See her? And see the male? It's very hard to see her, but she's big. Ooh. She just turned on my bait, too. He's on it, too. Getting true. They're both nose down. That's a big fish. I was just walking and I seen it. I don't see a bed or anything. 
but they're on bed because they're locked down. Let's try it. That's the other one. Look, turned around. See, big one's right there. And she's mouthing at it. All right, Jared. This is the one, buddy. I'm about to do it to you. <laughs> no, she had it in her mouth, man. As I said, I learned with this bait, man. Like you really have to just sit there and then run off with it, man. She's ready to eat. People say they don't like bed fishing. How? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I got her. She's. I got you right here. Oh. Hell no. <laughs> Hell yeah, Eric. Give me some. Hell yeah. Get oh! <laughs> Got him. And look where that hook is at, man. That is a certified oh, catch. Dude, no, that, that's bigger than six and a half. That's a good fish, I, man. I hate to tell you, but they always look smaller. In the yeah. Let me oh, can we get the camera right quick? You got it? Feel the weight. That's a stud. That, hey. is, a, that is a stud. <laughs> Jefferson <laughs> City stud, man. On the crankbait. What a catch. Hey, we had a round up for a second, but we got her. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> on the trail. Let's go. <laughs> God, can I tell you that I'm going to put you on? We're going to get on some big fish. I know, man. You got to have a good pair of sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling y'all, for all y'all subscribers, <laughs> these eye gogs, $30. Hard to beat them. Dude, that's a stud. This might be another eight. Dude, it may be. All right, let's see. Almost seven pounds. Almost seven pounds. Okay. Almost seven pounds, guys. Well, guys, we got her. 22 inches, working class zeros. That's no, what we dude, are. She, no, Is she, she almost 23? She touches 23 with the... 23. That's me and Jared. Girl. On another stud, guys. Let's get this girl released. Another stud. Mm. Yeah. Big girl. Swim baits, man. Swim baits all day. Man, this Karate K, okay, man. It's so legit. Too legit to quit. Got him? Hey! My man, that's better than I thought. Gotta be careful with those hooks. Oh, ah, I don't want to get stuck. Ooh! Uh, oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Stop! Oh. Yeah! That is better than I thought, man. Dude, that's a freaking football. That's dude. a football. Oh, be careful. No, I got it. Dude. That's a four and a half, five you, pounder, they, man. They, they're smaller in the water. Hey, let me get the scale. I am gonna need some uh, help assistance, right? Y'all see it again. Yeah, the Grand Trail, boy. It is a nasty bait. These fish cannot resist it. They're pretty much fighting our bluegill the whole day, and this bait directly imitates them. That's it. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let's get it. Four on the dot. Four on the dot. Nice fish, man. That's a chunk. Yeah, dude, that's one of the <laughs> balls I've seen. You think that thing is about 17 inches and a four pounder? Yeah. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, this was on my mind, and I just wanted to break it down for you. What it is is bed fishing with the Gantrail swim bait. One very unique thing that I saw was that bass will simply ram that bait. They'll hit it super hard. They won't initially try to eat it. A lot of times with soft plastic, they actually grab the tail and take the bait off the bed. But with this bigger swim bait, which is six inches, they will ram it, pretty much trying to stun it. But what I realized was I had to let the bass pretty much eat the bait and take it completely off the bed before I set the hook. Cause if you set the hook immediately, when they ram it, you're gonna foul hook them. So take your time, let them fully bite it, and then set your hook. And I'm telling you with that bait, you'll be successful. Cause it's the particular spot I was fishing at, they didn't want anything else beside a swim bait. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up, tight lines, and hopefully y'all catch some big girls.